The sky's gray, it's like this every day The town is full of bread, a little turn, a little prey I flip a million out of nothing, make them feel a certain way Hoping that the switch Fisk unit Soldier Fisk unit Soldier Fisk unit Soldier What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit the sub button, all right? Hit that sub button. Join this Fisk Unit army and get Fisk Unit tough. We are on the road to 6K. 6k by week one man i know we can do it all right want to give a quick shout out to at, at i hope i'm pronouncing this right edison edison no soul omar omarion e t t i n o s a look hit me go on twitter and give me a cash app you subscribed to both of my channels yesterday. So that means you will subscribe to all three of my channels. I appreciate that. I'm going to hit your cash at. I'm going to pick about four or five more people who are showing love to my other channels and hitting that subscribe button, sending me an F you, sending me a hashtag Fisk Unit. So you're the first one I chose because you're the first one I saw. Go to my other two channels and leave a comment. And um, so I appreciate that. Uh, send me a cash app on Twitter. And I'm going to hit you off a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? Courtesy of Big Fisk. Now, let's get to the business. Shout out to Wandell Robinson. He's my favorite draft pick. Y'all know that. I don't count Kayvon and Evan Neal because obviously, you know, those are the guns. Those are the, those are the big guns right there. You know, obviously, everybody loves Kayvon. Everybody loves Evan Neal, but like once you get past the two superstars, let's you know get into the draft. And Wandell Robinson, I believe, is gonna have an immediate impact. And the thing with Wandell Robinson is like I said on draft night, he's gonna start immediately. He's gonna start immediately. He's not this isn't a situation where it's like, oh, we gotta work him into the offense and He's going to take his rookie lumps and all that typical shit. No, Wandell going to be on that field immediately. Do you all understand we have filth at the wide receiver position? Once you get past Galladay and you get past Tony, it's filth. Shep, I'm not talking about Shepard. We know Shepard get busy, but Shepard won't be here till at least October. At least October. The guy tore his, um, Achille no, it was Achilles injury, right? Didn't he, uh... Terra's Achilles, what was it, end of November, early December? So, he won't even be ready until fucking Halloween, probably. So, one, so we really only have two good receivers going into the season. Wandell's going to be that slot guy from day one. Darius Slayton is on the trade block. And I'm going to be honest with you, these randoms from Buffalo, like, really... Guys who are just connected to Joe Shane and, and, and uh, Brian Dable, really? Like, come on, man. What are we doing? I have a theory. And Fist Vegas theory is this. And this doesn't apply to Joe Shane and Brian Dable specifically. This is a generalization of people from former coaching staffs. Just because they know you don't mean you're going to play. If you didn't play for them in their previous location, why do you think you're going to play for them at their new location? You feel me? How many times did the Giants brought in some fucking guy from the Patriots? He ain't play. How many times did the Giants bring in some fucking guy from Arizona during the, the, during the, the better days and he didn't play? Or some random from Minnesota because he knew Ky, uh, Pat Shermer and he ain't play. You know, so these random... Wide receiver, running back acquisitions that the Giants made a free agency, the minimum guys. They're, 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 they're camp bodies. That's what they are. So I fully expect Wondell Robinson to play immediately. He's going to be our slot guy from day one. And he came out, and the rumor is they want to run him in this Tyree Kill package. Mike Kafka, obviously from Kansas City. He's the pass again coordinator from Kansas City. He wants to run Wandale in the Tyreek Hill role. 
Now, Tyreek Hill is what, 4 2? And I think Wandell ran a 4 4. So here, here, here's my thing. I don't like. Can we stop disrespecting Tyreek Hill for a second? Like, this whole Tyreek Hill shit. Oh, this guy's going to be. No, no, no. Tyreek Hill role is the scared of death. Is the scared of living daylights out of fucking secondaries. He's the fastest guy on the planet. You send him on go routes. You send him on double. How many times do you just see Tyreek Hill just beat a motherfucker straight down the field? I don't think the Giants have anybody that fast on their team. So when they say they're going to use Wondell Robinson in the Tyreek Hill role, I'm assuming they're, t- they're, they're talking about catches at the line of scrimmage, uh, r- uh, handoffs behind the line of scrimmage on wide receiver end of rounds and, and sweeps and stuff like that. I'm assuming they're talking about the short stuff that Tyreek Hill does. I don't think anybody on the Giants has the the breakaway speed that Tyreek Hill has. Now, I will I will say this. Antonio Brown ran what like a four five four 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 five. Jerry Rice ran what like a four five something like that. So, you know, I'll say this. Just because you're not, you don't run the same 40 time as Tyreek Hill doesn't mean you can't smoke defenses on the NFL level. So, I'm going to hold off and say maybe Wondell Robinson can get deep behind corners on a regular basis. I don't know because Jerry Rice had a slow 40. Antonio Brown had a slow 40. And they smoke dudes their whole career. Antonio Brown is a Hall of Famer. He's not going to get it on the first ballot because he's Looney Tunes. But, yeah, he's one of the greatest that ever did it. So, those are just two examples of guys who weren't fast but always beat the defense. So, I don't want to necessarily say that Wondell Robinson can't run the Tyree Kill routes and get behind people because he didn't run a fast 40. But, I'm just saying in general, when we say he's going to run, he's gonna, we're going to use something like Tyree Kill. Uh, Big Fish just wants to clarify and say they're probably talking about bubble screens. Tyreek Hill caught a lot of balls at the line of scrimmage, uh, wide receiver in the rounds and shit. So instead of that idiot Jason Garrett doing it with um, Evan Ingram in this new offense we're going to see in September, it'll be Wondell Robinson getting those. Because remember, he played a runner back before he went to Kentucky and played receiver. He was a runner back. So he'll be that dual threat that we thought we could get out of James Cook. He's gonna be he's gonna fill that void. So like that the the Giants obviously want a dynamic slot receiver who can catch balls and run the ball. And I think that's what they got out of Wondell Robinson. Because remember they 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 wanted James Cook. James Cook was gonna they're gonna use James Cook a lot in the slot. They were gonna put him in the backfield and let him run routes at the backfield. They get mismatches on linebackers and safeties. And I think that's what they're going to do with Wondell Robinson. So, that's what I expect out of them. Also, I got to take my... I, I got to shit on a couple people because I told y'all that Kadarius Tony was an outside receiver. A year ago, I told y'all we were going to put Kadarius Tony on the outside. And he would eventually be our number one receiver. And y'all thought I was capping. Oh, no, Fizz, he's a slot guy. He he doesn't project to be a number one on the outside. And what did we see last year? Him smoking Trayvon Diggs on the outside. Him beating Jalen Ramsey on the outside. So I think if this Wondell Robinson pick says anything, it confirms what Fizz Vegas told y'all a year ago, that Kadarius Tony is our number one on the outside. You know, I'm not gloating. I'm not bragging. I'm just stating the facts. If it comes across as arrogant, cocky, bragging, then, you know, you just got to deal with that. <laughs> but, um, look, man, like I said, um, I'm giving out, I'm blessing y'all cash apps, man. Go subscribe to my other two channels. Leave a comment on both. I want, you know, hit me, you know, I'm, I'm hitting cash apps, man. I appreciate the, all the love and support y'all show me on a daily basis. It is not easy to be a YouTuber. It's not. YouTube is the hardest platform on social media to make it on. Twitter, you read a tweet. Anybody can do that. Instagram, you post a picture. Anybody can do that. 
it, it takes real love and support for a motherfucker to watch you for 10 minutes a day. That takes people got to really rock with you to click your video and watch you from five to 10 minutes a day. That's a different kind of commitment. It's a different it, it, it's a different skill set. So I just want to thank everybody who clicks my shit every day. Every hashtag Fisk unit, every F you, every time somebody shows me love, I appreciate it. Just want to get that out there. But anyway, and that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fisk Vegas, and I approve this message.